and he's mentally hurt me. I've just pushed it under the carpet. Because he has physically hurt me as well as mentally hurt me. There was blood, there was blood coming out of my... He's <sighs> just... He's just a horrible person, I think. I don't know what the point of me doing these videos is. <laughs> I've still got a lot of hatred towards him. Doesn't make any difference the fact that the fact that I'm doing these videos I still feel loads of hatred towards him. loads of hatred towards him. I think it's just built up. It's just built up over the years that I've been with him. I know it's come to a head, hasn't it? Like an earthquake. I can lie in this bed for hours awake, just thinking things over and over and over again. <sighs> and he's not helping me. <laughs> so maybe these videos are helping me then. Because when I'm lying in this bed, all I can think about is how much I hate Alan. All I can think about is all the different things he's done to upset me, to hurt me. So many different things. No, I used to I used to enjoy cooking his dinners. I used to I used to enjoy I used to enjoy helping him. I used to enjoy I don't know. There's loads of different things I used to enjoy with him. Holidays, going away, different things, and you know. And Sean wants to take it slow as well, um, I think by the looks of it. It's probably a good idea to be honest, because my emotions are so up and down, I don't know how. Emotions feel really up and down still. And I haven't seen Alan for nearly two months. But when he was here, he was here like all the time. Apart from when he used to walk out, which was quite frequently. <sighs> yeah.
I've been thinking what to do about Redditch and things like that if I want to go visit if I want to go to Redditch because Lee and Chris quite regularly go to Redditch um, yeah a part of me says I shouldn't go to Redditch because I could bump into him and another part of me says why should I not go to Redditch because um, it's a good shopping centre I prefer it over I prefer the shopping centre over um, Worcester and over Kidderminster well maybe not over Worcester but definitely over Kidderminster uh, I've been to Worcester so many times I get bored of that was ready to have, I don't I don't go to very often. <coughs> I mean, when I went the other day, when we went the other day in Chris's car, I hadn't been for maybe, well, at least eight weeks. I hadn't been. I hadn't been for at least two months. So. <laughs> yeah. Caps asleep downstairs. <laughs> she is. I haven't been asleep since about four in the morning and it's now six forty six. I haven't been asleep since about four. I've been awake. And before that I couldn't sleep till two. So I've only had about two hours sleep all night and it's now and it's now nearly seven in the morning. too much, it's just too much. My sleeping patterns are all over the place and they've been all over the place for months now, for the last two months now. I don't know what he was hoping to achieve by putting, oh, by putting cigarettes in my bag, by putting cigarettes out in Lee's carpet, Lee's doormat, scraping Scraping my laminate flooring underneath the mat. I have seen all these things. The scraping over there, over on that ottoman over there, which I've also noticed recently. My Phoebe box still isn't working. Um, so I've been watching a lot of DVDs. And I'll go around to my friend Lee's to watch Coronation Street and other programs. Uh, I just don't feel any motivation at the moment to to buy to buy new ones or to connect it because there's loads of wires all on. it'd be it take me all day to work out which wire goes where so I just I just haven't got the motivation to just to sort it out at the moment I'm just I don't know. I met with Chris Barvey the other day and that was good in, in Worcester, yes. Uh, <coughs> Thursday, I think it was, Wednesday or Thursday. So that was good. Because <laughs> I hadn't seen him for about a year or two. He's um he's Aaron's ex. And I know him through Liberal Stars. Stars in the sky. Um yeah. <sighs> so six forty nine.
6.49 now in the morning. Sun's coming up. Maybe because I've had a lot of good partners in the past. Maybe I wasn't prepared for how Aaron has been. <clears throat> um, I had a partner that was older than me. He was actually the one that treated me the best, I'd say. Um, Chris, his name was Chris. Chris Blythe. He lived in Edgebaston in Birmingham. He was probably the not. He was probably the best partner I had. Um, but I don't think I don't think I was ready at that time. My heart was very um, closed off from love. Um, mm. He was very care. He was a very caring. He was. He was a really nice guy. Yeah, he was into gardening. Um, he had his own business. As a, as um, he used to sell. I think was it plants or. He used to sell plants or. or he used to sell produce and vegetables and things on the um at, bot at the bot at the botanical gardens. He had like a stall on the botanical gardens and he used to sell sell fruit vegetables and things like that I think. Um and I was with him in two thousand and thirteen. Um for about seven months. Something like that, seven months, yeah. Um Yeah. Yeah, I sort of regret how I treated him because I was, I think I was quite selfish um, in some ways. <laughs> he, he was the only one really that used to cook me dinners. I've never really had, I'd never really had that before in a relationship. He used, every time, every time he used to, every time we used to see each other, which used to be like once or twice a week or something, he used to cook me meals and like wait on me and. Asked me, do I want this? Do I want that? And just, I don't know. He was just really nice. And I think before that, I, I wasn't used to it, and I think that's why I stayed. I don't think I was physically attracted to him, but because I'd never had that kind of, because I'd never had that kind of attention before. I found that I found that I stayed with him for a while because he treated me really well. Um, and last year, when Aaron got no two years ago, when Aaron got back with his cousin, I stayed a night at Chris's, Chris Blythe's. And it was like, it was like really nice and he kept telling me that I'm shaking or I was shaking all night. Um, and I was like apologising and that and he was telling me, don't, he was like, don't apologise, you know. <sighs> Actually, Sean said that the, the other week when he stayed, he stayed in, he stayed in this bed. The other week, yeah, Sean did. Um, and he was saying, although he didn't use the word.